and a friend. I met Chris probably about five or six years ago when I was coaching. I was an assistant coach at East, Eastern Michigan. I worked for a boss that was really good for my development where he allowed me to be creative. And one off season, I really dove into basketball immersion. It was, Chris was uh, coaching at University of Windsor, so it was about 45 minutes from Eastern Michigan. And I just dove into to all his stuff. And I said, you know, I was in charge of a lot of our summer block plan. And I, I said, I'm just going to, I'm going to go all in. I'm going to try to use this play live concept and, and, on, and, and go away from the on air, go away from the block training, try to do the random training. And I, and I fell in love with it. So Chris, again, I thank you. Consider you a mentor and a friend. And um, today I'm going to talk about cutting, like Chris said. Um, I'm going to begin with finishing as the foundation of that. This past year at Cleveland State, we were number one in the country according to Synergy um, with, with scores off cuts. We were number three in the country at rim shots. We were number 12 in the country in assists. We were number 22 in the country in field goal percentage. So um, we had some really good, really good offense this year. A lot of it was out of some of our point system, our, our jungle system. And so how I'm going to start today is I just want to introduce, kind of like how just Chris just did, with five on five, if I can get five white on offense and five blue on uh, defense. And I just want to show you the concept as a whole before I break it down into our one-on-one -on -one advantage finishing. So if we got the ball right here. Let's get, um, let's get the, the corners filled, the wings filled, and top of the key filled. So five out spacing. Let's get the five man with the ball right here. Or actually, no, I'm sorry, you can stay out wide. So five right here. Your five man, okay? Defense right here on them. Okay, so I just want to show you just a little bit of our offense. And then when I, when I show you how we build it up, it'll make a little bit more sense. So one of the actions that we'll do with about 10, 12 seconds on the shot clock, it's real simple stuff, is throw the ball to the five. Okay, he's got two options. He can either follow it or pin down. Let's just say for right now he follows it. Okay, he sets his man up, he's coming off. And, and it's a dribble handoff, so come up close. Yep, yep, right here. So defense goes under. We'll talk about that a little later. I want to focus on the weak side here. So traditionally, in our league, it, these guys right here on the midline are going to be all the way over, okay? And they're, they're kind of stunting the nail. They're taking away this nail help. So what we added this year at Cleveland State, you know, in the past we would exchange or kind of hold our position right here. Now, we weren't the best three-point shooting team. So what we're about to talk about really helped us. Again, number three in the country in shots at the rim. So there's two ways to occupy this mid midline, at least is what I'm aware of. So you could either 45 cut to take away this guy, and he, he's got to go with him, and you hold, your, you, you hold, or come back, because he's stopping the penetration. But we, what we did this year, our automatic was, as soon as he's attacking this midline of the court, corner guy who's in the deep corner is sprinting, sprinting through, and you're sliding to the corner, right, to, take, to get away from him, okay? So what happens is that opens up this gap right here, okay? So pass it, and you got that shot. Bring it back, okay? So how we're gonna, how we're gonna build this up and why we do that, okay? I wanna, now I wanna go into finishing with this, okay? So, so let's get everybody off. Besides right here, you two, right, number three, number three, yep, on defense. So what Chris kind of talked about in the summertime, how we build it up. We start with finishing um, as the foundation. So one of my favorite finishing drills took from Chris, and I started a couple years ago at Eastern Michigan. We, start, we did this drill um, every day in the summer. And so how we would do it is we play this shoulder game, okay? So what we talk about is, the offensive player has to be at the defender's hips. That's how low you got to be. So get down low, okay? That's your advantage. What Chris talks about is shoulder to, to chest is, is your advantage. If you're in front of him and it's chest to chest, okay, it's to the defense's advantage. So go back. All right, so what you're going to do here, what's your name? Fabe. What is it? Fabe. Fiend? Fabe. Fabe. Okay. So between two and six dribbles, I want you to attack and you have to finish at the rim. Okay, but so you're, you're dribbling here, okay? So one, two, three, any time between two and six, you can go and finish, okay? So go ahead. Good, good finish, now come back, now come back. 
So now I want you to, the constraint we'll put on it now is, is he has to use a jump stop to finish. So a two foot jump stop to finish, same thing, go ahead. Good, one more time, I checked my watch real quick, I want to see it again, do it again. And all this is going to relate to how we build up cutting on the weak side, go ahead. Good. I like how you, I like how you built, put him in jail there, but come on, come on, come on back, okay. And I, and I won't go through all the little teaching concepts because I want to get to what we're really talking about, but same thing, same thing. Um, now what I'll do here with finishing, I'll call the jump stop a Lowry because I, I found that when we can name the finishes after NBA players and then I could layer it afterwards with him performing a correct jump stop and in practice and then I could send them film afterwards with Kyle, Kyle Lowry doing the same thing and layering that, that they're able to, it, they're able to transfer that over more and they say, oh damn, I, I'm able to I'm able to look like Kyle Lowry, basically. We'll name all our moves. DeRozan is a jump stop with some, with some shot fakes. Um, Rondo is the, is the stride stop, finish, all that. Um, so now I want to add a defender on the weak side, uh, offense and defense on the weak side at the, 40, at the wing. Offense and defense. Okay, so now, so now where would you be? You're kind of at the midline, right? At the help, over a little bit more. Right here, good, up. Okay, so now we're, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going from one-on-one -on -one advantage to two-on-two -two advantage. Okay, so you're, gonna, you're either trying to finish at the rim, or if he stops you, what do you do? If he's, if he's uh, dribble and penetrate, what's your, what's your job? Good, slide to the corner, good job. Okay, so here we go. Good, perfect, perfect. Let's do it one more time. Let's maybe start it from right here now. Good, right here, good. Same thing. You can play however you want. You can stop them or whatever you want. Let's go. Good. Drive, kick. Good, good shot. Now, um, what Chris talks about, again, we're stimulating the decisions here. We're, we're, we're combining skill and decision. The skill is finishing at the rim. The decision is what? Right, so you either you're you're making a good read. If he stops you, what do you do? Pass it. If he doesn't stop you, what do you do? Score. One more time. Good. So you nobody stopped you. You helped. You got a great shooter over there. You didn't want to come off him and to finish at the rim. Now let's add a corner guy and a defense over there. Okay. So what we'll do is the same thing. So what did we talk about? How, if he's sliding over, what do you have to do? Good. So you're, cut, you're cutting out of the corner. So over quarantine, this is, I, I learned this so, um, over quarantine in 2020 with uh, the Boston Celtics assistant coach. And this, was their, this is one of the automatics. Um, so we're going to do the same. I got the name. We call this a Clyde from Dusty May at, at, at FAU. Why do we call it a Clyde? Corner cut and a slide, corner cut and a slide. Okay, so here we go. So now, same thing, here we go. Go again, so what, what do you think you did there? Say it louder. Why? Huh? Yeah, corner man faked the Nobody really stopped you. Let's back it up just a little bit more. Good, like right here. You could, you know, do it from various spots on the floor. Here we go. Get a stop. Let's go. Good. Good. One more time. One more time. Here we go. Let's go. One more time. One more time. I need you sprinting hard. You need to go quick corner cutting. Okay? Good. And what happens too is, so I want you to finish your cut all the way over there. What often happens is, Recreate it and pass it, pass it where you, good. Now he closed out, not a bad shot, but pretty aggressive closeout. Could have ripped it, go ahead. Pause, pause. What's your job after you pass inside the three point line? What do you think you need to do? Respace, out to three. 
what oftentimes happens is the cutter gets the shot. Because if you're driving baseline, now what are you supposed to do? Good. And what, now what's the read? Good, right there. So the cutter oftentimes gets the shot out of this. Okay, so now let's back up. Now let's add um, number one right here. Start with the ball right here. So I, I showed you our quick action earlier with the five on five. We'll start this guy with the ball. We'll put um, this defender right here on his back and you're kind of in front of him. So advantage. So now we're playing four versus three advantage where we're simulating our action a little bit, okay? That we just, that we just went over. So on your dribble to um, your partner here, we're doing the same stuff, okay? Ready? Good, good, one more time, one more time. Yep, gotta finish. But what we're doing is we're, we're distorting the midline. We're occupying this weak side. There's so, a lot of teams just pack this nail and they're ready to, to help. So we're, we have to make him, we have to utilize and distort the midline. Here we go. Good, really good. Again, the cutter, the cutter ended up getting the shot. Okay, so now let's go, let's go, uh, let's go, you can step off, let's go baseline drive. So that's our automatics on the, on the um, middle drives. So our guys knew anytime there was a middle drive, we're colliding. Okay, so if we go now, let's go one-on-one -on -one advantage. You guys can step off for a second, just real quick, you'll be right back on. Let's go one rep, one-on-one -on -one advantage, driving baseline, go. Good. So again, in the, in the summer, in the buildup, a way to teach the finishing is, okay, I want you to use only Lowry's right now. You can only use a jump stop. Go ahead, real quick. You can only use a Lowry. Good. And then also, come on, come on back. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, timing? Yeah, as soon as the handoff is, as soon as the, uh, the five man and the uh, ball handler kind of meet right here. And, they're, and, and as he's taking that one dribble, attacking middle is the timing of it. Um, okay, so again, like maybe I'll start the defender here, and I, or I'll, I'll give him an option and say, you could either start right, on the right in front of him or you could start a little bit behind him. And based on that, he has to make a decision of finishing at the rim. So pick, a, pick one right now and go and, and finish. Pick one, whatever you want to do. Good, good. So if he's, if he's on your side, right, maybe you use the Lowry because you have to gain an advantage, but if he's behind you and you have that, if, you know, and you're, you have that quick to the rim, that's the right decision. Okay, so now let's add two, more, two offense, two defense on the weak side. So we're just building it up. Okay, so now our automatic on baseline drives, you'd be, yeah, that's fine right there, is a 45 cut. So anytime when he starts driving, we want you to dive down because, because rewind a little bit. Okay, so what happens on the drive? What do you do? Good, what do you do? What are you supposed to do? Yeah, slide down. So as you're, as you're driving, right, and we cut this guy, He's got to either pick something. So whatever he picks, you have to make the right read. Okay? Here we go. Let's go. You can start. You can start one foot in the paint. Just here we go. Oops. Okay. So now, skill acquisition. Skill acquisition. Right? So, ball. You know, there's skill acquisition and game-based. Activities. The skill acquisition part is if you can't make this left hand pass, that's something we got to work on. One thing we'll do to work on that is advantage right here. Where it'll just be guy in the corner off, a way to work on this skill acquisition. I'll have him pound. Chris talks about when he raises his hands, I'm going to make the pass. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait on you. So I'm pounding, raise your hands, and now I'm making that pass. Okay, so making it not uh, making it unpredictable instead of just saying three pounds pass, three pounds pass, three pounds pass. I might have to pat, pound for 12 dribbles before you raise your hands. And again, you're just stimulating a little bit what Chris always talks about, okay? Let's do it one more time. So let's see if you can make that left hand pass or you hit the corner cutter. Let's go. 
Good. 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 Okay, now, now let's go. Any questions on that? Just kind of trying to go through it quick. So our automatics, Clyde going middle, on baseline drives, we cut the 45, and this is how we would build it up. Now to make it a little bit more unpredictable, let's move it to about right here. Okay, now we'll put you facing the rim, in front of him, face the rim, the ball on the back. Okay, so now you're gonna, you're gonna put the ball down, you're gonna stab it down either direction, and you could drive it. Now you guys can't, you have to decide based on if he goes middle or baseline what your moves is. If he goes middle, what do you guys do? If he goes baseline, what do you do? That's what I'm talking about, V. All right, here we go. Not bad. Restart it. So again, if your players can't make these passes, you got to break it back down to make sure their skill is there before, you know, with the decision. Here we go. Not bad, but you were a little late. You were, uh, you were standing over there with your hands on your hips to start. You got to be engaged from the start. Okay, let's do it again. Good. You actually had two options there where he, the, the cutter was open. Because what happens is this guy's, this guy's going to end up ball watching. And he, he can't, oftentimes he's up, they're up, they're up, they're staring at the ball. And when he cuts, he might get this pass late. It might happen here when you're attacking the rim, okay? And then we'll talk about playing off pace on this. When, we, when he has the advantage, come on, we'll talk about and go, go again. And let's say you get in front of him a little bit. No, he got in front of you. We want you to pause, 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 machine gun, dribble, and allow things to develop, and then you can make reads. You don't want to just go one speed the whole time. You want to be able to change, change speeds, change pace. Okay, let's do it one more time. Okay, you, now you had, a, you, had a, you had a shot too. One more time, one more time. You go, you can't now, you can't be doing eye contact with them, letting them know what you're gonna do. You just gotta, there you go. Good, 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 okay. So again, we're just, we're just trying to create gaps. We're trying to distort the midline and we're trying to cut. We get, we get a, lot of, uh, a lot of points scored off this. Um, let's go, so now let's bring it back five on five. Let's get five guys out here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, let's just play. So let's go, let's start you here on his hip again. You're gonna hit, and then you're gonna follow it. And we're doing the same thing. Okay, go, all right, so go, go again, start, start it up. No, no, so I want, I want him to start with the ball, and then he's gonna, fo he's gonna follow it over. Good. Why was that drive open? Huh? Loud. Well, what about him, too? What'd you have to do? You had to go with the shooter, right? And you couldn't just stand here. If he stood there, well, it would have been easier for you to guard, right? Okay, here we go. One more time. Okay, so now rewind. So now another one of our actions we'll do out of this is we'll hit. Um, let's say, let's have you play in front. Again, so what, what I consider this is I, like a, a light switch, right? We're, we're dimming it up in the summertime to where we're giving the offense obvious advantage. But that's okay because we're learning it. But we're learning it with live defenders too instead of doing it on air like Chris talks about. And the light switch, you know, it goes from dark, which is on air, to lighter, 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 and then, uh, and then full brightness is considered completely live, no advantage, they have, to, they have to create the advantage for themselves. So now, 
you know, part of our offense, we, we, would, we would hit. Another option would be to go pin down. We won't talk, we want to wait for the screen here. We'll talk about that another day. Okay, you're coming off, and then it's the same thing. If you dribble handoff, now it's the same action. Okay, rewind, rewind. Now let's say number one, do, do rewind, start from the top. Go ahead. Good, come off. Let's say you fake this handoff. To, no, no, come on. Fake it to him. Now come up, give it to him. Now hand off there. Pause. What we'll do is, we'll, we would, we, we call Jokic. I'm sorry, rewind, rewind. I'll take the ball. So come up, do the pin down, do the pin down. Okay, I got the ball. I'm going to fake here. Keep going. I'll look for, you, I want you to cut straight to the right. I'll look for that. Okay, and then I'm, I'll hand off here. I want you to hold. I want this to occur at the bend. I'm going to come to you. Allow me to come to you. Now you get out. You lift up a little bit. You lift up to the 45. Come on. Okay. Now, middle. Even though this is the middle drive, now if it's a three side, we want to cut the four, cut the middle guy. Okay. We want to cut that middle guy. We got that a ton too. And what ha what Chris talks about too is the play behind the play is what's going to be open. So as you cut, get back to your spots, number 35, okay? When he's driving middle and you cut, okay, pause. What's good, you cut behind, what's going to happen is number zero is going to get sucked in a little bit. You're going to be driving, and the play behind the play is the one that's open. Last thing, rewind. Now what we'll teach is on the concepts, um, go ahead. So go dribble handoff. Pause, if he goes under, and this is for another day, our automatic would be to, 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 to flip it, flip the screen on a pivot. So you just handed it off. I want you to turn and pivot here, okay? Okay, now you drive baseline. It's the same thing with a 45 cut. And you're holding the corner. You're holding the corner. Okay, so that's, that's, that's what we would work on. Um, it's not everything, but it's kind of our, our general base of some of the stuff we do uh, within our offense and how we build up the cutting just from the one-on-one, -on -one finishing first. We want to finish at the rim. We're driving to score, driving to score, driving to score. Now what do we do on the weak side? How do we occupy the midline to um, have chances to score?